hello guys uh, welcome and in our live session on zoom we have some discussion so right now I'm just uh, making this video for you guys so we can on daily basis we can make a video and I will push that on YouTube channel so you will be able to watch that okay guys uh, so uh, we are going to start a program in which we are going to build some Django apps and right now we are going to start from a basic Py, uh, python django structure and after that we will make a small app of blog straightforward the thing is there are many ways to build one app simple app in python django like python is an object oriented programming you can deal it with any way how you want it but the better and the easy approach i'm going to share with you so let's get into it okay so guys uh, here we are in our folder let me just make an environment for it uh, there is nothing right now so for that we have to make an environment python 3 oh, here we go with our environment ls okay uh, so guys let me open my code editor vs code and we have open our project so here we are right first step is to activate your environment but let me close my conda environment source env uh, jump into bin and activate it so guys right now we are in our folder and we have activated our environment so first what we have to do is in install python django uh, let me check pip version first uh, 19 ok pip install great pip let me just upgrade it if there is any new version we can update it okay here we go with so now we have to install python django okay pip install django ls pip freeze so you can check the list of uh, libraries you have installed and let me show you our folder right now we have only fo uh, this environment folder we don't have our project folder and we have installed our environment and we, ha we have created our environment and we have installed Django as well so now it's time to make our project so let me make a folder mkdir project and ls cd project we can get into that project folder django admin start project and let's call it blog project or just a simple blog ls here we have our project if I go back to my folder here we have the project folder inside that we have created a Django project and that is this one let me just move inside that CD so we can run it CD block ls and here you see python uh, you have manage.py file so you can run it manage.py run server we have some migrations to run but first we have to just follow the steps so guys uh, now our django server is running so now let's let me show you that we have the admin panel as well those who are not familiar with django 
uh, you can watch my other video as well on YouTube I have uploaded it uh, some uh, days before now let me create uh, your super user and migrations for so first what we have to do is run migrations make migration python manage.py make migrations okay no migrations but we have to migrate and here we have migrated all the necessary steps oh, so oh guys what we have migrated now let me show you what all this stuff is if you go inside the settings file you will see there is some installed apps admin and this app is of your admin panel after that we have some authentication content type sessions and messages messages and static files so if you go here now in admin uh, our server is off let me run it run server and we uh, if we go here we have this admin panel login page if we put something it will not log in cause we don't have user right now let me show you the browser uh, our database this is db.sqlite that we have created now if you get into the table auth underscore users you see uh, here we have our tables and we don't have any record right now so let me just make a super user for that create super user uh, we name it admin uh, you can skip the email password put that let me just okay so we have that now and run server let me just refresh our table and check right now we have our admin user as well so uh, to log in into our database uh, into our admin side we can put our username and password and you will get into it get inside it here we have some functionalities like uh, we have the tables of users and there are some groups you even you can uh, just uh, go and, and click on the add user you can uh, create new users as well and if you want to jump onto, onto the site you can jump onto it change password or the new methods and the new functions you are going to create inside your app you can uh, uh, so you can make them available on your admin side as well or either uh, there is a other way to make a new admin panel uh, custom uh, that will be on you if you are willing to make that you can do that so right now uh, let me just go back and create a create an app for you guys so blog um, let me call it blog python manager py start app and we will name it blog app if you see this now we have a folder with name blog app inside that we have some files admin app admin.py apps.py models.py and other two files one is view and other one is test so guys uh, before that let me just inherit this for, uh, app if you still go back to our website you will see this page and this one exactly the same page cause we, uh, we have one app but we haven't integrated it with your project settings uh, we haven't integrated in our project so for that what we have to do is uh, the name of app we are going to uh, write it down here blog app so now what we have to do is we have to import URL file include uh, we are going to write path 
and after that we are going to write down if you want to write something you can write it else uh, just write it down simply include and blog app that's that is the name of app you have created and you, you we are importing our urls file right right now it shows us an error the reason is we don't have this file right now so what we are going to do is you can either copy this and go inside the folder of blog app create a new file url urls.py inside that you can paste uh, let me remove this here we go even we don't need this one uh, it's enough and let me just write it down from scratch path you can write for example its home page okay let me see its home page and we are going to import views from current folder import views file so when we have imported that views dot index and name it home so still uh, we will get an error the reason is we don't have any view at the moment so when you are going back inside your blog app you can log uh, open your views file and let me import some or redirect render okay so http response let me create a view index request we are passing request the better way and we can write some comments as well here this is home page okay let me just url okay before uh, moving towards that let me just show a return http response and you can type this is home page and let's check it out if it's working okay let me refresh uh, let me go back and check okay what the hell is mm, cannot import name views from blog Uh, we have done a mistake let me copy this back okay so inside our blog app let me close this one inside our blog app uh, we have a URL file and inside that we are going to specify that it's our index function which we are going to display on our home right now we have a URL which is specified with home and if we are going to type it here home and here you see this is home page so now this is the basic uh, way to start with Django but uh, moving far uh, before going forward let me tell you how this is working right now how Django is working so guys uh, right now we have these files let me close this and open that for you step by step first we are going to create our project and we have this project right now this is folder and inside that if you uh, see it's let me zoom it project okay so whenever you are going to create your first project uh, it will include these files 
okay so inside that uh, let me just specify that we are dealing with our settings.py after that we are dealing with our url file cause we have to specify uh, we have different apps for example we uh, have right now blog app so we are going to specify that yes we, we are going to import url file from blog app so it will show us exactly the same url files uh, urls and the layouts on that url we have specified and in settings the first step is to make a blog app okay and after that uh, we are going uh, like we have specified our blog app name this is the name of app you are going to build and uh, after that you are going to make your urls so that you can import your app urls inside your project so now uh, this is two steps inside the project folder now close it and open your blog app the app you have created in this uh, the thing is we have to create our url file which specify that okay we have the following url and for that you are going to make some views inside your views.py file so uh, now we have this uh, view and we have used this we have imported this uh, inside our url to specify that yes you can show us this view on when we are going to type home but now uh, we don't have anything right now here so if we go back to our server and if we say okay just search about home it will say i don't have anything and if we say like this nothing but if we say okay just uh, run directly it will show us this home page so guys uh, this is it this is the, the way how you are dealing with this now further uh, we are going to make our templates folder inside our app so we can specify that we have some template files html files new folder templates inside that you can make another folder with the name of your app name blog app uh, in case you are making uh, multiple apps inside one project so it will be easier for you to specify that okay we are getting this html file from this app folder so right now we have a folder templates here we are blog app we don't have anything uh, so let me create an html file inside that new file index.html html let me specify html okay so django blog app h1 welcome to django app okay but it will not work yet for that what we have to do is make a url that will specify that okay uh, we have blog app folder inside that we have an index.html file so now what we have to do is we have to render this page for that we have to use the render function and pass the request after that we are going to pass our url so now whenever we are going back to our page it will show this directly from our index file so guys uh, this is a basic structure how you are dealing with your normal layouts and how you are dealing with your templates further in next uh, tomorrow's video i will show you how we are going to use bootstrap and how we are going to use static files so that uh, we can uh, just start building our blog app easily okay guys see you tomorrow